Okay, hello, Honors Geometry. Um, this sounds like it's going to be our new normal for the next little while. So um, we have a project. Luckily, I got a chance to talk to you guys about it a little bit um, before we left. And so I went ahead and gave you that packet. If you want to get that packet out while I go over this video, that'll probably help you. Um, and this video is here to watch as many times as you need to, but hopefully this will answer some of the questions. Um, if there's any other questions, just a reminder, if it is a question about something that somebody else may benefit from, um, please try to ask it on um, Google Classroom. If it's something that you need to email me about, feel free, feel free to email me. I get an email from Google Classroom every time you ask that, so you don't have to do both. Um, but we will go from there. So um, this is the information about your Unit 6. Um, I put in quotes, in class group project, because we are no longer in class. Um, so again, the project printout is the printout that I gave you the day before we left, um, or feel free to print it out again. Um, you can just write your answers on scratch paper and just look at it on your phone, look at it on the computer if you want to. Um, we'll talk about those different things um, as we go through this. Um, just so you know, all of this information is going to be accessible on Google Classroom at 8 a.m. on the 30th. This will all be posted, so by the time that you watch this video, it will probably be posted. Um, and you can access it, but you are going to have um, information about the project. Okay, that's gonna, it's not going to look exactly the same as my stuff does, but information about the project, which I'm going to go through all of that stuff um, with some links. Um, and then you will also have some class work where you're going to have uh, who are you working with on the project, the tasks, and your create your own test. All of those will go out um, on Monday. Um, but not all of them are due on Monday. So we'll talk about the due dates um, as well as we go through this. So this is what you're going to see in your stream on Google Classroom. Um, and you can go back and forth if you need to. Um, this is a multi-step project. So be sure to read all directions, but don't be afraid to ask questions. If you aren't sure about something, there's essentially three things that you're going to have to turn in to me at the end of this. Okay, you're going to complete tasks one, two, six in your packet. So that's going to be the packet that you have um, that you're going to be completing. You're going to, as a group, fill out the daily log if you're working in a group, and you're going to create your own test. Just to be clear, the packet, the daily log, and the test, you will turn in one copy of each of those to me for your group. So if you are working in a group, you will turn in one copy of each of those. Um, the submission timetable, and be, feel free to work ahead if you would like to. Some of you may get it all done this week, but you have um, time to get it done. Um, number one, by 3.31, so by Tuesday, at the end of the day on Tuesday, you need to comment on the question on Google Classroom with who you are choosing to work with. If you do not comment, I will assume you are working alone. So there is a question on Google Classroom that is going to um, come up that says, who are you working on the project with? Okay, it can be group number members from either first or third hour, and you need to submit an answer. One group member needs to submit an answer with all of your group members' names. Okay, if you don't do that, I will assume you're working alone. By 4-3, so that's by Friday, you need to complete the tasks and submit um, that before beginning your test. So do not begin your test until you get your tasks back from me. However, if you turn your tasks in early, I will grade them early and return to them to you as soon as I can. Okay, so this can be submitted. Um, we'll talk a little bit more later. You need to know my email for this. You're not going to submit it through an email. Um, if you want to email me, you can. Um, by 4.10, you're going to complete your test and submit your test and your daily log. Don't forget to submit the daily log that you'll be working on um, that you'll be able to submit to me as well. Okay. The rest of this is just possible useful links. Those are all linked on Google Classroom. Um, and then you have another copy of the class project and another copy of the daily log um, for at home. Again, there's a lot of information here, so please don't hesitate to ask um, if you have questions. Okay, so again, there's you're going to submit on Google Classroom who you are working with on the project. Okay, then you are going to see the next um, assignment. And for my purposes of assignments, you can turn them in whatever you want. Um, I, you're on Google Classroom. I'm not grading them on Google Classroom. Um, I'm just giving you guys a schedule of what to do. So 40 points of your grade, which will be a homework grade, will be based on completion of tasks one through six in your packet with your group. OK, um, I've gone through this multiple times and tried to figure out the best way for you guys to submit this and to work with this on a group. And I think this is the best way. But if you have a better option, let me know, um, especially if you're working by yourself, there may be a better way. Um, but if you're in a group, I think this is going to be the best option. So the way that this one is going to work is that I have a digital version of the packet that I passed out to you available here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that digital version here. Um, and so this is the packet. So you're going to have it. 
opportunity to edit and delete anything that you have here. Now it's going to ask you to make a copy of this. And so you're going to hit, let me go back to this. This is gonna be a little bit jumbled, but you're gonna hit make a copy when you open up that, okay? Or when we get to the daily log, you'll hit make a copy, but you're going to do that. And then once you do that, you're gonna get this activity, okay? What I suggest you do is you edit the name right away with your group members' names, and you can put them here and up here, okay? And then you are going to share, and you're gonna go into your sharing tool, and under emails, you need to share it with all of your group members and with me, and that's why I included my email for you, okay? And then I will have access to that. Even if it's not done, share it with me so that you have that done, you don't have to worry about it later on. Then you're gonna be able to go through here, and let's say that um, one of you decides, so you can go through and you can look over these different things. For task one, there's not actually anything you have to do, it's just providing you the formulas. For task two, let's say that group member one does task two, okay? You can delete this entire thing here, take a picture of what group member one does, and then insert it in here. If you need help with inserting pictures, let me know, but there are plenty of tutorials online that are gonna tell you how to do that. It's pretty easy from your phone if you upload Google Drive to just um, download the pictures to Google Drive and then insert them here. And I can show you how to do that too if we need to. Okay, it's pretty easy. You just go to insert image um, and then from drive. And then I always go to my most recent um, and then they're easy to find there. So you can do that. When you get to this one, you may have one group member that did this whole page. Just delete this whole page and enter it in. I would suggest leaving the task title because I'd like to see that, but it's not the end of the world if you don't. Um, if you took a picture of the whole page, then delete that whole thing, okay? And you can keep going. If certain people did certain problems, then delete what you need to, add what you need to. But you have this as an opportunity to um, add in the work so that we can see where the work is, okay? Um, so that's what you can do. Um, with that. Okay. So that's this. Again, ask if you have questions there. Okay. You also are going to get 15 points. This is not actually due at the same time. It's not due on April 3rd. It's due when the test is complete. You're going to get 15 points on who is doing what on the daily log. Okay. So if you are in a group, I need to um, have this filled out. Otherwise, I will assume you've done everything. Um, so the daily log for your group, you'll click again. It's going to say, make a copy of this, okay? Yes, you wanna make a copy of this and then you're going to go in. So let me go ahead and open my daily log and you're gonna see this activity. Again, go in and edit this with your group members' names, okay? Share it with your group members so that everybody can have access and share it with me so that I can have access. And I may actually change your um, name. Make sure everybody has editing abilities, okay? Um, and then you're gonna have this daily log. So on day one, which is Monday, some people may not do anything and that's okay, okay? But on day one, person one, you're going to enter in whoever your first person happens to be. So whoever it is, you enter them in there, person two, person three. And on day one, what did this person do? What did this person do? What did this person do? On day two, who did what? Okay. And you can specifically say a task. So you can go in and say, okay, task six, part A. They did all of part A. Okay. Or task six, part B any of that kind of stuff, and you can write in what they did. If you want to be more specific, that's perfectly fine. But this is the 10-day log of what people did so that I have an idea. And there might be two days that you're working on the same thing, or everybody worked on the same problems in a day, um, or whatever it happens to be, or somebody worked on task two this day, and then this person checked it the next day, however it happens to be, but fill that in, okay, so that I know what you are doing. And essentially, you'll get your participation points um, based on that. So that should be everything that you get in this part of the assignment, okay? Then you are going to have an assignment to create your own test. And this will start as soon as um, you get your grade back on the other assignment because I wanna make sure that you know if you did it right or wrong. So that's why I'm going to grade it and get it back to you. You are going to have one group member open a Google Doc, just a blank Google Doc, name the file, share it with your group members and with me, okay? We're gonna look at the last two pages of your packet to see what's expected of you and how that's going to be graded in a little bit. I'm gonna be going through the packet, so give me a, a bear with me for a second here. Um, and you're going to create a test. So when you do that, when you are on Google Drive, you're gonna have a blank Google document. In here, name your document based on your group members and call it unit six test, whatever you wanna call it. Share it again, make sure you go into your sharing settings and you have to name it before sharing. Um, and enter the emails in for everybody, including myself, okay? egolandry at mths.us, okay? And then share it with everybody. And then you can work in here. Now, when you're working on a test, you wanna think about the format of the test. So I went ahead and took one from a previous year and gave you an idea. 
Okay, they put all of their group members names at the top so that it was easy to figure that out. Okay, where the 